Hello, everybody. My name is Brooks Cash, and this is my wife, Mary Ann. And we have been uh, humbled and privileged to be selected as the new uh, care group coordinators for Biblical Foundations. And we just wanted to take a moment to introduce ourselves and uh, share our experience with small groups. So I'll go first. And, you know, the, the if you're anything like me, which hopefully you're not, but... Um, <laughs> The, the term small groups uh, for many years sent shivers up my spine. And, you know, we first became involved in small groups actually very early in our marriage. We've been married a little bit more than 30 years now. And early on in our marriage, when we were uh, having some, some growing pains with regards to being newlyweds, we actually were able and, and privileged enough to be incorporated into a small group of, of friends from a actually a diverse group of, of churches, so not one cohesive church family, um, but people in the same kind of setting that we were in terms of their married lives and um, burgeoning families. And I actually came to understand the value of small groups in that arena. And then over the years, as we moved multiple times through my career in the military, uh, we were exposed to a lot of different churches, a lot of different denominations, but the one thing that many of them had in common was the existence of small groups. And, you know, largely through uh, the influence of my wife, we immersed ourselves in those small groups, we were active in those small groups, and every single church that we participated in with small groups, especially over the last decade or so, uh, have become ever more meaningful. And I can absolutely um, say without a shadow of a doubt in my conviction that the small groups that we've been involved in with Houston's First have been among the most meaningful that we've ever experienced. Uh, we, are, we have just grown to, to love our, our friends and extended family in our current small group. It's brought us closer to them, of course, and it's also, I think, brought us closer to each other as well as the extended family at uh, First Baptist, Houston's First. You know, I think the the value that I see in small groups is the ability to actually share outside your family, your immediate family, the troubles or, or struggles or joys that you uh, may be experiencing. And I think the other thing that it's done for me is it's it's helped me realize that many people share the same struggles and joys and uh, troubles that I do. And it gives me a chance to verbalize those and get sometimes uh, advice in terms of how to handle that from people who've walked through those struggles. Um, but also it, it allows me to, to air those uh, concerns or prayer requests uh, or praise, uh, praise notices to others. And, um, you know, and that's been absolutely rewarding to me. And I would encourage you all to participate in the small groups that uh, we have available through the class. And I'm going to turn it over to Marianne and let her share her perspective with regards to small groups as well. Oh, thank you. Well, I think he said he said it all really um, that the difference for me, and it's not like I uh, was that excited about small groups myself because I already had a lot of small groups of friends and colleagues because I, when I first started, I worked full time and had a lot of different arenas where I had fellowship. But I think for me, the big difference in regular fellowship outside of church family is the biblical part of the fellowship that happens, we are brought together not by any other shared thing than our devotion to Christ and our church family. We have such a diverse small group, but we have the common theme that we are all members of not only Houston's First, but Biblical Foundations. And because of that, that's how we come together in Jesus' name and pray. It's the foundation of why we're together. And we just kind of cut straight to the chase with all of our differences. There's the biggest commonality. And that's, um, you know, it, it bears much fruit. I can say it bears much fruit and it's become foundational for my life um, and uh, transformational as well. 
Um, and so I can't say enough about how uh, fruitful it is and how we all encourage you to give it a try. It's not, um, it's not easy or always convenient, but it's simple and it's rewarding. The rewards far outweigh any inconvenience in your schedule or any kind of um, fears you may have. So anyway, we encourage you and we look forward to uh, really getting to know you all um, this next year. Thank you. Thanks. And I, I do hope that, uh, you know, you will participate in the small groups that we're setting up, the current existing small groups. And, and I do hope that, like me, it becomes one of the best parts of your week, uh, because I really do look forward to, uh, to interacting with the other members of our group and, and uh, catching up and talking about the sermon and the messages and other things with regards to what's going